What's good family? Welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we're actually going to be going over a lot of shocking content. So I would suggest you watch the video full on through. I got this video right here sent to my Instagram DMs. It's of Lil Uzi's Vert's Rolling Loud performance. Now, the performance itself was very satanic. And also the outfit. They're literally coming out and showing us that they worship the devil. This is their God. So the things that they do, the music that they make, that's their way of worship. Oh my goodness. Have you guys seen some of the things that happened at Rolling Loud? I mean, just look at Lil Uzi Vertical and even his belt. Guys, this is literally the symbol for the church of Satan and Satanism. And listen to the new song he dropped at Rolling Loud. <laughs> truly concerned and this is little yachty said i mean this is some type of satanic ritual i guess in public how are thousands of people watching this and not saying a word this is playboy Cartai, and this is probably one of the scariest things of the festival <laughs> and they were saying that they heard demons literally screaming throughout the rolling loud performance now one thing we need to realize is that guys these individuals are coming out more boldly than ever showing us who they worship and which side they serve. Devil being bad and evil, God being good and righteous. They've clearly chosen the devil. This right here is the sign for Satanism. I know we just saw in the video. I just want to make this very, very clear for those people that still are not seeing what's going on. What this man is doing right here, he's leading people astray. He doesn't want people to be free. He's working for the devil. You do not find freedom through Satan at all whatsoever. You find freedom through God. You find your purpose through God. You find control, deception, and lies, and depression, and anxiety when it comes to Satan. And this is who he's trying to lead you to, guys. Not only this, to literally confirm it. This is coming out of Lil Uzi Vert's own mouth. A few years back from one of his performances, a concert that he did. He was literally saying that if you're here at my concert, you're going to hell with me. Look at this, guys. Hold on, let me explain something over here. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. That's but I still love you. Hold on, let me explain something over here. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfucker entered. Now, I'll be honest. Before I understood what was really going on within this music industry and what agenda they were pushing on the people, spiritually also, I used to listen to Lil Uzi Vert, especially in high school. This was the thing. You get what I'm saying? But now I understand he's clearly telling us, like, it's right in front of our faces. And this is why when it comes to the Bible, it's, it's not a religious thing. It literally helps us understand what's going on within this world. This right here, it clearly, it clearly says, The God, lowercase g, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. So Satan, what he's doing is literally blinding the minds of those so that they cannot know God. So they can't see God. So they don't see the light. This is what they're doing. They're destroying our conscience and our mind. So we cannot live freely. To be controlled within our mind. And Lil Uzi Vert is clearly saying this right here. Let's play it back one more time. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now. Obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So let's get it. Oh you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. That's up. And now if you say Lil Uzi Vert's name, Lil Uzi Vert, it's it's spelled L-I-L-U-Z-I-V-E-R-T. Lil Uzi Vert. But now if you just say it as in one, Lil Uzi Vert, it can literally start to sound more like Lucifer. Lil Uzi Vert, Lucifer. Like everything when it's coming to this little man, like to this man right here is leaning towards the devil. 
And this is just all complete confirmation, guys. The one thing I really want to point out is the fact that he knows he's going to hell. He literally admitted this. The devil understands this fact. And this is actually shown through scripture here also. It says when, when he, when they're talking about he, they're talking about Jesus. When, G, when he arrived at the other side of the region of the, I don't want to butcher that name, but two demon-possessed men coming from the tombs met him. They were so violent that no one could pass that way. What do you want with us, son of God, they shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? They understand that there's, go, there's an appointed time where they're going to go to hell. This is very much so understood. But they're still working for the, for the devil. Like This is what they're still doing to try to lead other people astray so they do not see the light in Jesus Christ. God revealed through Jesus Christ. Unconditional love. Forgiveness. Happiness, freedom, peace, everything like that. They don't, the devil doesn't want you to have that. Look at this photo right here. Now, the reason why I screenshotted this is not only for what Lil Uzi Vert is wearing at one of his concerts, but for the caption. Look at this caption. It says, am I the only person who doesn't give a flying F about the demonic and satanic stuff? Now, I, was just, I just want to use this as an example to show that there are people who are unable to see what's going on. Even though it's put right in front of our faces, they're unable to see what's going on, which completely aligns with the scripture that I just showed you guys. I'm pretty sure that how Satan has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. They're unable to see what's going on within this world, even though it's put directly in front of their face. Now, I wanna get into something very, very interesting right after this photo, just to give more confirmation on the side that Lil Uzi Vert has chosen and through his music, he's leading people astray. So as you guys can see, this is a this is a Lil Uzi Vert music video. And I know I've showed you guys multiple times, but I know there's new viewers on this channel right here that just need to see this so it can be made much more clear. I love y'all all. Just making that very clear, y'all. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's an upside down cross here, the 666, saying right here, with the triangle and the the triangle with the eye in the middle. All of the, all of these images are very, very satanic, very blasphemous, just as you see right here. They're putting the upside down cross because they don't want us. The devil does not want us to understand the power through Jesus Christ that we're able to have. Eternal life, peace, and like I just explained, there's a light. It's no longer darkness in this world through believing in Jesus. But the devil is clearly doing all he can to lead us away. And I'm here to show you guys, you know what I'm saying, just through the word. So now this is very, very interesting. So now after knowing that Lil Uzi Vert is completely satanic, he worships the devil through his music, and he's doing the works of the devil to lead people astray from knowing God. He's being put in Kids' Choice Awards. What does this show us? This clearly shows us that, look, they're attacking the younger generation too. The minds of the younger generation, they're trying to get people, they're trying to get these young kids more used to seeing these type of individuals. Because even if the performance at the, that he did at the, uh, the Nickelodeon Awards wasn't some crazy, crazy satanic performance. Best believe, best believe that these children that come across Lil Uzi Vert's performance, they got an iPad. These, these eight-year-olds have an iPad. They gonna look up his stuff. They're gonna see what Lil Uzi Vert is doing in his music videos. Like I just, I just showed y'all all the symbolism that's within his music videos. They're gonna come across all that stuff. And what is that gonna do? That's going to desensitize them to Satan. They're not going to be as aware of it like the individual that we just saw over here on Reddit. That he doesn't give a flying F because he's been so desensitized. He's probably been around the devil the entire time. He doesn't have that spiritual discernment within him. This is, a, this is Lil Uzi Vert performing at the Kids' Choice Awards right here. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is a this is a this is a very bold Satanist we have right here performing for these children. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the Kids Choice Award was also placed on Nickelodeon during live television for all the kids to see what on that program. I doubt it was just yeah they had to have put this somewhere other than just YouTube. <laughs> And understand the fact also that the people that are choosing these individuals to perform for these children, they're not oblivious to that. 
Lil Uzi Vert is a complete Satan worshiper. They're not oblivious to it. Things are coming to light. And it's becoming more and more bold as time goes on because it wasn't like this beforehand. Like usually like Satanism would have to be a thing that was like more kept hush hush because it's so bad. But as time goes on, these artists are going to become more and more bold. And then people are either literally going to have to pick a side. You're going to have to pick either the good or the bad because it's put right in front of our faces. You're going to have to pick a side. Us as a, as individuals, you get what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just let y'all know, y'all should pick God's side because God's gonna win at the end of the day. You shouldn't pick Satan's side. I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> it would be to your own destruction if you wanna pick this side. I know y'all not picking that side. I'm just saying though, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta put it out there. Just to go further on the fact that how these artists are just coming out more more boldly on on their satanic and demonic things right here. I saw this video in the comment section of the original video that we watched of Lil Uzi Vert's performance, and I found it very interesting. I want to show you guys this right here. Does anybody know what's going on with Doja Cat right now? Um, take a look at her new profile picture. Yeah! That seems really satanic to me. And where's all her videos? What do you guys think? What do I think? I, th I think Shuddy is on the dark side. Does anybody that ain't no normal picture, y'all. Believe me, you. Believe me, you. And now you gotta keep in mind, Shorty has 26 million followers. And she's blatantly putting out this demon as a profile. I'm gonna call it what it is. You know, I'm gonna call it what it is as her profile picture. What is that saying to us? They are sand worshippers, y'all. It's very, very clear. And then Playboy Cardi sand, sand tattooed on the back of his neck. Guys, it's quite obvious. It's being put right in front of our faces. What is there to not believe at this point? You get what I'm saying? Like, what is there to not believe? I'm going to just leave it right there, y'all. I love you guys. Make sure you do like the video. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. The same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love y'all.